Hello, Leo, and welcome to your 2022 year in to 2023 year ahead message. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. That is um, other Leos like you or people cross-watching on your behalf. The purpose of this reading is to reflect on what took place in 2022 and move forward, um, looking forward to the future, okay? Um, first and foremost, Happy New Year. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams? Hello to my members, okay. Leo, if you are new to my channel, welcome. But if you are returning, yes, this is not going to be the traditional format that I usually upload. Um, I have done... Um, collective audio readings I prefer this but um, unfortunately right now it is the best method for me to get content up because I am moving at the end of the month so with that being said uh, my production and everything is being shut down so right now all I have is um, my Mac and my voice and my hands the only problem is is you just can't see it so if this is going to bother you because you can't see the cards, therefore it isn't real to you, then it may be uh, recommended that you take a break from my um, um, channel for about a month and a half until I get back acclimated and up and running um, in my new abode. If this doesn't bother you and you're rocking with me and you have, went, have been from the beginning, then I appreciate you for sticking in here with me. And let's go ahead and get started to the next topic. With that being said, in the new format, you're going to hear noises and uh, probably hear things being picked up um, on, the, on the more, um, I would say, more than ever before that I could edit out and during uh, the recording of the video that I won't be able to probably edit out with this software, um, such as... My neighbor, for some strange reason, they were yelling through the wall yesterday. Maybe they were excited that it was a new year. People getting their mail, uh, people mowing the grass, uh, people, things like that. So I do apologize for that. I will try to stop and start as much as I can if there's any disturbances, but please keep that in mind. With that being said, if you are an impatient person, you are in the driver's seat. Of, of what you want to hear. You just want me to hurry up, Marv, get to the message. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that because I need to keep my audience informed. But if this intro is a problem for you, you are in the driver's seat. All you have to do is go to whatever device you're watching this on. There is a bar that is along and runs along the bottom of the video. All you have to do is go down there and, and highlight that bar. There's going to be a little ball that indicates where you are and you can fast forward or rewind as much as you want, okay, until you get to what you need to get to. Um, I don't think I am able to timestamp these. I will try, um, but it's a little bit harder when you're not visually looking at something, um, but I guess I'll get used to going forward. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and break down these card placements. First card is going to be how well did 2022 serve me. Second card is going to be what did I do well in 2022. Third card is going to be what can I do better in 2023. Fourth card is what was my biggest lesson in 2022. Fifth card will be how will this lesson serve me in 2023. Sixth card is who do I need to forgive. Seventh card is what do I need to be released from. And the best part of this is what is the eighth card, which is how do I best move forward? Now, each placement is going to get three cards on the board and the top and the bottom of the deck that will not be put down on the board, but will instead continue to be shuffled in the deck. I will um, weave each question together with the next one. I will read up, down, across, side to side and put together the pieces like a puzzle just like I do in all of my readings. However, um, each one of these card placements is representing a specific part of your life. And I will tell you which one of these cards is weighing heavily or these placements is weighing heavily on you 
as I see fit from what your cards are telling me, okay? We're going to do a couple more shuffles, and I'm going to tell you what the top and the bottom of the deck is as a theme for you right now as it pertains to today when you clicked in this message. We do have the Hermit at the top and Judgment at the bottom. Leo, it has been a tremendous amount of learning for you. Um, what's behind you is you went through an extremely hard year with some of your judgment things. Um, such as your rebirth, your inner calling, you know, using critical faculties, taking a stand, making some hard choices, awakening to possibilities, transforming, enjoying a renewed sense of hope, making a fresh start or seeing everything in a new light. Top of the deck shows the hermit. So now that you are recovering from that judgment, you are walking into hermit energy, so now you are searching, you're in the intro, introspection mode, and I am going to take the time right now, now that I know my intention is every time I see a hermit card, I'm going to go ahead and draw an introspection oracle. I did take these cards away um, from the reading because it was hard to do. Uh, for everybody because everyone did not need one but because this is staring back at me at the top of your reading I'm going or the top of your deck I'm going to go ahead and get you a couple um, and this is just something for you to think about people who show they care people who care usually show that they do or people who care usually show that they care What's the healthiest choice? And we're going to get one more. This is also receiving and giving guidance, accepting offering from wise counsel. If you wanted to, you would have. If you wanted to, you would have, okay? So introspection, oracle things, and then you can say so much with so few syllables, but silence says the most. Some of you already believe in that. So that is your cards. Let's go ahead and get into the first card placement. How well did 2022 serve Leo spirit? We do have, there was a lot of celebration, a lot of things to celebrate for. Looks like you made some financial strides with the nine of pentacles, four of wands to the nine of pentacles and six of cups. Some of you guys uh, really uh, had an opportunity to Get with friends this year. Celebrate some milestones for your friends and family in your life. Um, there was a lot of reminiscing. Maybe you ran into people that you hadn't ran to in a, in a while, ran into, or people from the past reached out. Um, it could have been that somebody that caused some hurt and pain decided to reach out, someone that you were once enthusiastic about. With the bottom of the deck being reflected as the queen of wands, this person, that's who you are king or queen top of the deck does show that this person from your past could have hurt you um they did reach out they were thinking about you um it, i don't see that anything went went with that or um, has resulted in that but you could have been reminded of some pain um it served you very well you did have some fun you had triumphs um, you did um, get a raise bonus or some type of extra material abundance in 2022. And finally, um, again, you were able to be in heavy reflection with the soulmate energy. Going back into your introspection, people who, you, who care usually show they do. What's the healthiest choice? If you wanted to, you would have. And you can say so much with so few syllables, but silence says the most you pick. That is what I am showing, okay? Now, what did I do well in 2022? A lot of you guys, again, walked away from that person that no longer served you. The Four of Cups in question two is time back to the Six of Cups in question one. This was a person who was dynamic and charismatic. If they did not have, if they are not a fellow fire sign like you, Leo, then they definitely have fire somewhere and may, maybe they have their planets in a fire house, whether it be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
Um, also, one of the things that you did do well was you explored your other options. You finally, again, in that judgment energy, you got an opportunity to think outside of the box and try to step into your power a little bit more, Leo. Um, it definitely looks like you decided to put down some things and were not worried about things as much as it pertains to a love relationship. Not to say that you did not miss this individual, just to say that you decided to look at other options or at least wrap your head around the fact that you should move on. Although you knew those other options were not viable, you exercised your right to be able to have some fun and gave yourself license to start enjoying yourself again. I do see that this has been hard, okay? I'm definitely not saying that it has been wine and roses for you. What can you do better? The first thing you can do better is stop deceiving yourself with the seven of swords. Stop acting as if you have to be by yourself or this is running away from responsibility. This is shrugging something off with seven swords. There is a... Um, you're afraid to face the music. You're afraid to face something in your life. Um, and you're causing a, a disservice to yourself by doing so. Justice is here indicating that you could definitely look at situations from a more truthful standpoint and balance those scales. Justice does not come to those who deceive themselves. So you're, you're contributing to your own self-deception so there's something within that that can be done better. Um, it closely ties right back to a Libra um, that has played a role. Knight of Wands indicates that you were passionate about this Libra thing or you're passionate about justice or you're passionate about moving forward with something. But the way that you, um, that, that you are, um, the way in which you are going through this is not serving you because you're handling it but you're not handling this truthfully because you're deciding to be angry or keep your distance because that's how someone else feels or that's what the circumstances have brought to you to deal with but you're not over something and you can do that better this is bringing justice to yourself this is self-deceiving yourself what can you do better you can do those areas better you can pursue your passions better. You can elevate your Knight of Wands energy to a King of Wands energy or Queen. Take it as it resonates. What was my biggest lesson in 2022? The biggest lesson is coming up as Wheel of Fortune. It's coming up as your Acclaim with Six of Wands and Success. And it is coming up as Show Me Spirit. Show Me Spirit. The Page of Swords. Okay. Judgment and Queen of Cups. Again, this has something to do with a person. Um, judgment is, is at the top of the deck. That's staying in the deck as well as the bottom of the deck showing Queen of Cups. This is um, not necessarily accepting, accepting the fact that someone has disappointed you in love and you remain in love with this person. I'm telling you right now that I think this is a state of mind. You're attracted to something, but this isn't love. I'm not minimizing your feelings, Leo. Um, this person, the reason why you left or this person walked away from you in the first place is because this person was not for you. Um, it could be creating an attractive nuisance. A seven of swords is in your energy saying that you can do that better. So there's a lot of self-deception going on. I didn't bring it up. It's right here in the cards. So with that being said, your biggest lesson is that there was a wheel of fortune. The wheel needed to turn so you can move forward, but you didn't want it to. All right. You wanted the success and the acclaim. You want the results, but you're not attached to the work. You want the instant gratification, but you're not attached to doing the work. That is contributing to the self-deception um, and blocking your justice because justice is here, but you is like two doors. One is moving forward and moving into a more just situation, but you can't do that unless you do the work and take responsibility for the role that you play. So you want 
the sense of satisfaction about this situation. You want a sense of completion. In other words, you want to play the part because that's what you're great at doing. You are our entertainers of the Zodiac um, and you do it well. However, this has contributed to your self-deception, okay? Um, yes, you can love this person or this situation, but it was not for you, okay? When I am looking at judgment at the top of the deck, governing, hovering over this situation, the wheel needed to turn and you wanted the success and the acclaim of doing that, but you have not committed to doing the work. The energies are there. You just need to do a little bit more work so you can stop blocking your blessings. I do see a page of swords that's also letting me know that further options and I'm sorry, obstacles. Uh, oh, thank you, spirit. Um, and co continue to come in. And they're going to continue to come in because instead of, again, doing the work, um, you're not learning the lesson from the obstacles that you were faced with. Moving on into that biggest lesson, how will this lesson serve me in 2023? Again, why I thank spirit was that the two of swords and the lovers came out. You didn't handle the situation. You just blocked your emotions. Your ego is, is working. You just blocked your emotions and you're defending your actions with seven uh, pentacles. I'm sorry, seven wands. The seven of wands is here in the lovers. You want this person, although you know they're not good for you. And this, this needs to, you, you refuse to do the work and really actively let them go. And that is, again, contributing to self-destruction and self-deception. Top of the deck is showing ten pentacles. Bottom of the deck is showing eight swords. You are blocking your emotions out. You are blindfolded. There is a finality in letting this go. And you just don't want to feel that shit. You want it to be easy. It's not going to be easy. You're deceiving yourself and you got so many beautiful energies here. Okay? So the lesson is not going to serve you in 2023 unless you let it go. You have not accepted this lover situation yet. Okay? Some of you guys need to talk to this person and speak your truth. Some of you guys, if that's what you need for closure. Okay? Okay? And this is probably, I'm surprised, I'm going to call it right now, one, two, three, four, five, as we move into the sixth um, card placement, which is who do I need to forgive? I have a feeling that this is going to be you. The majority of you guys, yep, look at this, four swords and the ten of cups, who do you need to forgive? There, this, this ten of cups is showing two hands. I know it pissed you off. I know it hurt you. I know it devastated you. Yep, this person and the stars here. Some of you guys have Aquarian in your chart. You, this person gave you and showed you the world. They loved on you real good. Or did they? Did they? Okay. This is a bond, a vow that was broken. Someone promised you the world and under-delivered. And you need to forgive yourself. Hope, healing, and optimism is here. You still want this Ten of Cups with this person. This person does have some water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And you could have the same thing. You want this person. You still want this. And you need to forgive yourself for wanting it. You don't. You feel stupid for wanting it, but you still want it. Okay? Okay? Listen, if you do not get out of your own way, your person that is around you, beautiful energy, but every one of these is blocked by something that you refuse to do. For example, placement three, seven of swords, but justice is there. How can justice move through a self, some self-deception? Placement four. The page of, uh, page of Swords is here in the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands. You are, you're right at the cusp of the wheel turning. But each obstacle that, you, that comes forward, you fall right back into that, which leads you into card placement one, two, three, four, and five with the Two of Swords, which goes into the Four of Swords, which is in this sixth placement. Now, 
Who do, what do I need to be released from? You need to be released from a page of cups. You need to be released from an ace of pentacles. And you need to be released from, show me spirit, what just tried to come out, something did. From the hair font. You need to be released from waiting on an apology, waiting on this person to call and get their damn mind right. And waiting on and, and be released from waiting on an opportunity for a new start and a commitment with this person. If you are waiting on a marriage, it's not going to happen. This is not to say that this is negative. This is the reason why your newness is not coming in. Top of the deck shows that there is 10 wands. You have to release the burdens that come along with a missed opportunity and commitment. And this person stepping up into their hard fight and waiting for a damn apology that you know damn well, even if they did apologize, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. You're fixed fire. I understand it. I am fixed earth in my love sectors of my birth chart, Leo. I talk your language when it comes down to not being able to let go of feeling stuck when someone has done you wrong. Because the way that a fixed energy approaches this is they shouldn't have effed up in the first place. However, that is a self-deceptive thought because people are people. And we all make mistakes. You release yourself from this based upon what you do with it next. You cannot hold on to it. This person disappointed you. And some of you guys are still messing with this damn person. Let them go. That's easier said than done, and I don't want to open up the damn uh, year judging because that's not what this is. I'm going to tell you it's extremely hard. It's very, very funny because to this point, I was having a conversation with a person that has strong Leo in her chart, and as I am trying to accept the same lesson, it's funny how we all work different. She tries. She's not trying. Let me rephrase. Her thought process is to always give a person a chance. And I agree with that. That's what makes her personality beautiful. But there is a difference um, um, fixed community in giving somebody a chance and just holding on because you don't want to do the damn work. Now, I realize that our moons are different and we are made up different. I'm going to do the work because the person that has showed me who they are, I tend to believe it. If you tend to be an individual where a person has shown you something and you still are intent on making it what you want to make it, that is something that needs to be reconciled within yourself. Talk to me if you want to talk about that. I know a Leo moon. And when I read the description of how that moon works, there is a passage in this book, and I'm free to recommend it to you guys. And I believe that this is also a detriment in the suns and the moons. And I have Leo in the fifth house, but there's no, there's no planets in there. Um, and that is an outer planet. So all of you guys that's like, see, you got Leo in your chart too. Understand how birth charts work. We all have it in our charts. My point is, is that one of the things that a Leo moon specifically will do is even when they are told no by their lover, they will continue to pursue that until they make it what they want to make it. And that's when shit falls apart. So pay attention to who's showing you who they are. And don't make it what you want it to be. Accept what it is. And if you still want to stay, then you know what it is. And it's not to say that you can't get mad about it, but it's to say that that's what you chose. Moving on. All right. And last but not least, how do I best move forward? You see what I'm saying? So for those of you, I have two predictions um, for those of you who are going to stay and for those of you who are going to leave. And I'm going to um, tie this back to your introspection oracles because you're at the top of your deck, of course, was a hermit. And when I see a hermit, I'm supposed to pull one of these introspection oracles. So how do you best move forward? You move forward. We have a nine of cups. We have an eight of pentacles. We have a ten of pentacles. Okay. Top of the deck is a seven of pentacles and the king of swords. All right, some of you guys and a good majority of you, what do we have on the top? We have 10. 
10% of you or better. We have a nine, we have an eight. I'm not adding all of that up. I'm going to probably say that a good half of you, it's looking like, is probably going to stay with this person. And if you stay with this individual, chasing them, and even if you're not with them, okay, hold on, the people that are still with this person, um, you're only uh, digging your own grave, figuratively speaking, not literally mentally. You're going to have some type of damn mental breakdown because you're not getting what you want out of this. Um, and you're going to continue to, you know, be bothered with an individual who's not serving you and then be pissed off at everybody else because you don't know how to move on. That's not healthy. The other 50% of you who are not with this person physically but still continues to pine after them and you refuse to move forward, um, you're not doing anything, then you are probably going to be the ones that's at the very, very short end of the stick because at the end of the day, Leo, you're not getting anything out of this. You're just sitting around putting your life on hold for this notion. And it looks crazy, so you hide it. And I understand you, it looks crazy as hell because it's just like you secretly want this and you may be living a whole life, friends, family, kicking it, but you're not happy. I don't see a seven of cups here. Yes, I do. I'm lying here. There it is. So going back to what did I do? Well, you did keep it moving and you may have several options, several lovers, but you're not happy. Your sexual connections with people do not make you happy. It's just a way of validation. And those that don't have the sexual connections chase the money. And trust me, as a person who has a Capricorn moon and strong earth in her chart, that money don't, don't fill them voids either. The only thing that's going to fill the void is accepting this and dealing with the pain so you can allow this justice, this will of fortune, the lovers, the star, and new love to come in properly. All right, let's, let's get it. Let's go ahead and break down. Again, King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, there's a strong truth. A strong, hard truth that needs to be looked at. Let's go ahead and break down your majors. In uh, Section 1, we have nothing. Section 2, we have nothing. Um, card Placement 3, we have Justice. 4, the Wheel of Fortune. 5, the Lovers. Um, 6, the Star. 7, the Hierophant. 8, nothing so you got a good mix remember we have will of fortune justice the lovers the star and the higher font look at that abundance will of fortune the lovers the star justice the hair font all about someone stepping up your will turning abundance coming in but not if you're stuck in all of these swords Two of swords, seven of swords, four of swords, page of swords. You're in your head too much trying to overanalyze this. And no matter how many times you replay it back in your head, this person effed up and they're not good for you. So if you don't take it from me, take it from your cards. In the meantime, the rest of your year is looking good, but it's looking like it is plagued with the same old, same old mental anguish that you left in 2022. So you are going to perpetuate the same damn problem in 2023. Introspection oracles. If you wanted to, you would have. You can say so much with few syllables, but silence says the most. What's the healthiest choice? People who care usually show they care. Tie that back to this reading. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. No, it was not. And it was not designed to be wine and roses. It's general energy and your energy pull that down. And, and that's where we're going to end it. If you're interested in personals, you know where to find me. Thank you, Leo. I'm going to continue to commentate the way that I see fit. I hope and pray that a lot of you guys let this past love go. You got so much beautiful abundance, but you won't get out of your way to allow it to come in. You just won't. I'm going to pray for you guys, and, you know, just like all of us, we all have our crosses to bear. 
Don't allow your ego to make this feel like you're being picked on. All right. This is what spirit wanted you to know. Thank you so much. I'll see out. Well, I won't see you in the next one, but you'll hear me in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.